Are hypodense liver lesions cancer? If you've recently had an imaging test and were told you have a hypodense liver lesion, you might be wondering what this means and whether it could be cancer. Let's break it down to help you understand. First, let's define what a hypodense liver lesion is. On imaging tests like CT or MRI scans, a hypodense lesion appears darker or less dense than the surrounding liver tissue. This doesn't automatically mean it's cancerous. It just indicates a difference in density. There are several types of liver lesions and their density can vary. For instance, hypervascular tumors, which are rich in blood vessels, tend to be hyperdense, brighter in the arterial phase of a CT scan because they take up the contrast quickly. On the other hand, hypovascular tumors, which have fewer blood vessels, are more likely to appear hypodense, darker, in the portal venous phase because they don't take up as much contrast. Hypodense lesions can be either benign or malignant. Here are a few examples. Metastases. These are secondary liver cancers that have spread from another part of the body. Most metastases to the liver are hypovascular and appear as hypodense lesions on CT scans. They are more common than primary liver tumors and are often seen in patients with cancers like colorectal cancer. Cholangiocarcinoma. This is a type of primary liver cancer that grows in the bile ducts of the liver. It is typically hypovascular and can appear hypodense, especially in the late arterial and portal venous phases. However, it may show delayed enhancement due to its fibrous stroma. Hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC. While HCC is usually hypervascular, about 10% of cases can be hypovascular and appear hypodense. HCCs often show a fast washout in the equilibrium phase, which can help differentiate them from benign lesions. Benign lesions. Some benign liver lesions, such as hemangiomas or adenomas, can also appear hypodense under certain conditions. For example, a hemangioma might appear hypoechoic on ultrasound if the surrounding liver is hyperechoic due to steatosis. However, these lesions typically have distinct characteristics on imaging that help differentiate them from malignant ones. To determine whether a hypodense liver lesion is cancerous, radiologists use a combination of imaging techniques and phases. Here's how it works. Arterial phase. This phase helps identify hypervascular tumors. Portal venous phase. This phase is better for detecting hypovascular tumors. Equilibrium phase. This phase, which occurs about 10 minutes after contrast injection, can help identify lesions that wash out contrast faster or slower than normal liver tissue. In some cases, even with advanced imaging, it might be difficult to determine the nature of the lesion. In such instances, a biopsy may be necessary to confirm whether the lesion is benign or malignant. So to answer your question, a hypodense liver lesion is not automatically cancer, but it does require further investigation to determine its nature. Understanding the type of lesion and its characteristics on imaging tests is crucial for the right diagnosis and treatment plan.